Hey, this is Michael Pena with Teens Want to Know. You've met the Wolf Connection Wolves before, and now we're going to take you to a fundraiser to help save these animals. In an earlier episode, Teens Want to Know brought you up close and personal with the beautiful wolf dogs of the Wolf Connection. In today's episode, we bring you to a VIP filled fundraiser for the organization, held at Gallery Sparta in West Hollywood. Plenty of celebrities were on hand to help raise funds to purchase a much larger facility, which will allow many more wolf dogs to be saved and more at risk youth to be helped through innovative therapy. To contribute, go to wolfconnection.org. Let's check in with some of the attendees. So now you're an ambassador for uh, Wolf Connection, right? That's right. Why is it important for people to support organizations like this one? Well, I mean, because I live in Los Angeles and, you know, I'm, I'm an actor I'm in this industry, uh, I'm, I've been lucky enough to be given kind of a voice that some people don't necessarily mm -hmm. have. And so I feel like it's uh, my obligation to, to, to lend that voice to, to something like this. And I think this is a really great organization because it, at the same, you know, it's helping wolves and wolf dogs while yeah. subsequently helping uh, people as well and at, at risk youth so I think it's really nice and I, I hope you guys do too so please send some money our way because we'd, we'd really appreciate it yeah everybody they they need you to donate okay because they they have so many wolves they can't take care of them and they're doing really good things for so many people and they need this new place so we're all gonna come forward and help them okay what's your wolf connection well, I did a little film called The Howling. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> but really, my heart just, I, I go out to the preserve. I think it's a wonderful place. It's wonderful what they're doing. Nobody else is doing it. And, you know, it's a hard thing. So anybody that wants to take a heart trip with animals, this is, this is your new place. If you could travel back in time and give one piece of advice to your teen self, what would it be? Never change. It's good advice. I liked me back then. <laughs> I like you now, so. Thank you. Well, Wolf Connection is an incredible organization that it, it houses and shelters and trains these animals, many of whom have been abused or abandoned. And they take these wolves in, they give them a home, and they train them to become therapy dogs for at-risk teens. And teens who, you know, can learn a lot by being around a majestic animal that has no judgment. A wolf yeah. is just a beautiful creature that it will just feel your spirit. And there's no judgment there. It's just all about love. What's your wolf connection? My wolf connection? Well, I played a vampire for many years, and we, we, we had, uh, we fought wolves. <laughs> but in real life, we, we had just the absolute pleasure of working with these majestic creatures. My wolf connection is that I actually been up to the ranch and I've witnessed the the spirit of these animals. Each one of these wolf and wolf dogs have a whole different personality. They're like people. I mean, and they play together and they they you know there's a hierarchy that it's fascinating to really witness, you know, how one kind of controls the other. Um, I mean, they're just beautiful creatures and they really they represent as much as the bald eagle represents freedom in this country. Wolves represent the wild abandon and the nature of this country. I've already gotten to meet a couple of wolves, which is awesome. They're great. They're like giant dogs, which, well, they are giant dogs. The original DOG. They're, um, they're a really gentle, wonderful creature and um, fun to pet. Lots of long hair. It's really one of the most unique, well, it is the most unique effort that there is that I've ever even heard about in relating uh, wolves or animals with young people in need. What's your wolf connection? Well, my, my, my dog is half wolf. And so I love, and I've, I've been in, in uh, the woods all the time and, and uh, so, and I've been written, bitten by him and everything in, in mm. movies. I was up in Alaska and a, a, a big, uh, they had a wolf there and he was supposed to charge me, mm. and he got me way down low, and he dragged me for quite a ways, and the guy couldn't think of my name. He finally <laughs> thought of his name, and he let go, but it was yeah. too, too late. So now today's event is all about wolves. What's your wolf connection? Well, my wife uh, belongs to the wolf clan. Mm. We have clans in our, among our people, yeah. but she belongs to the wolf clan. Remember that uh, these wolves, our animals all together, used to talk to us mm -hmm. vocally until we started abusing them and treating them, yeah. which we do. And they got tired of it. 
And they said, we will never talk to you again. Right now, right? from now on, we won't say anything to you. We'll show you things, how to live your life, what to do in life, but we won't talk to you no more because of this thing that you've done to us. Yeah. And they do, they still show us things. The animals yeah. tell us when winter's coming, when the rain's coming. They let us know a lot of different things. But you have to understand nature in order to know what they're saying. It, yeah. Yeah. To come out here and actually, you know, see a wolf and be, be around a wolf like this is kind of cool. I think it's pretty incredible. It is really cool. It keeps sniffing me uh, in the back. <laughs> so much. Just love? Oh, just loving me. That's and now, the... sorry. <laughs> and now, if you could go into a time machine and tell your teen self one piece of advice, what would it be? Um, it would be... Um, where, uh, where I work. It would be... Uh, Kiss Brook Shields longer. <laughs> What's your wolf connection? I was so lucky to be able to do an awareness shoot with them because a lot of the Twilight fans are young fans, teen fans. Um, we wanted to do an awareness shoot that would appeal to them. And so I went and got to hang out with them and we, we went up to the mountains and had some really cool fashionable clothes. Yeah, and, um, and the wolves were there too and we did these really great setups and you can go to wolfconnection.org and check them out. Uh, what's the money going to be used for? Well, we are at capacity. We can't rescue any more wolves. Uh, we're having trouble running all the programs that we need to run because we don't have enough space. So the, all the money that we're raising is going to uh, purchase a new facility, a bigger ranch, uh, more acreage, more cages for more animals and so on. So why is it important to support charities like the Wolf Connection? I think it's all about giving back. I think it's, you know, as an artist, I, I feel like you have to be a role model and an inspiration mm -hmm. to others. And if they see, you know, their artists and their inspirations doing it, they're going to be more encouraged to do it themselves. For sure. As today's event is all about supporting wolves and the people that the wolves support, what's your wolf connection? Well, I have, you know, native heritage mm. on my father's side, so I feel really connected to spiritual animals and like the eagle and the wolf I'm very connected to. So could you describe to me how you were like before the program and how you were like after the program? Before the program, I was really shy. I was more in a box, didn't want to socialize. And then after I, you know, I got out of my comfort zone. I wanted to talk, I wanted to socialize. And, you know, now I'm here. And if it wasn't for World Connection, I mean, I'd be probably home in my room listening to music in my own world. Yeah, but now you're out here, you're doing an interview. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's great. I'm Colin McAuliffe, and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. Hey, I'm Jackson Rathbone, and you are watching Teens Wanna Know. Hey, this is Chris Rackins with Teens Wanna Know. Hi, I'm Dee Wallace, and you're watching Teens Wanna Know, baby. We'll look out for those. Yeah. No. <laughs> that, you saw that on Wikipedia? Someone's, Somewhere. Someone put it up on Wikipedia <laughs> that I was going to play Johnny Storm in Fantastic Four. Uh, that's not, not that's happening. Different. No. Uh, a fan. I think the guy's playing it is black, actually. So uh, <laughs> I, could, I could pull a Robert Downey Jr. if I wanted to, I'm sure. <laughs> Pretty versatile, but uh, no. Unfortunately, no, that's not happening. Hey, what's up in heart? Uh, sorry, again. <laughs> 